doubt about it, Francis Burke will kick it as hard as he can. There it is. Looking there for Cloak. Alexander's over the back. Raw so to you there. Richmond player though in ropes. Ropes dive, please. Come to end, Thank you. Another goal for Richmond. Nine goals. I've been able to miss those, Peter, but I did. I never in your day would you miss Oh, I've missed them too. Oh, <laughs> finally grabbed by is it Michael Roach has a yeah. quick snapshot for goal and it's right through the centre. It's another goal. Great game for Richmond today once again. The ball comes down towards Dunn and uh, oh, oh coming over the top is who is it? So Michael Roach again. Michael Roach has taken a very, very good mark. He'd be a uh, long way out for goal. He'd be 55 metres out for goal on a very, very slight angle. He's a beautiful kick of the ball. Already kicked three. That's, oh, it's a beautiful long drop. And I think he's put it through. Yes, that's his... Now kicking it right back over there. Looking up, up high. Oh, good mark for Roach. Great mark. Roach about uh, 50 metres out from goal. We'll need an excellent kick, of which he is. Dittrick has gone back on the on the mark. And Roach lining up, as you see, just coming across the centre square there. Kick's not a good one, though, but it's going to find the evergreen Francis Burke. A lapse in concentration there by Delamato and allows Francis Burke to take the mark about 15 metres out from goal on a fairly acute angle, but he doesn't miss many, Francis. Let's watch the umpire. It doesn't move. Great goal. He's coming through. Ducks and weaves. But good play by Reigns as he brings it right across the centre half forward. Coming through his foul. But it's good. Good mark for Wiley. He plays on quickly. Picks up towards Roach. Roach will have a shot for goal. He's put it through this time. Excellent play by young Michael Roach. To boot. But burst back to the centre of the ground. Drives the kick down. Roach is in front. And the long arms of Roach once again. Taking the mark in front of him. Roach. I've already kicked two goals, two goals, two to be exact, and on this occasion, uh, well, a reasonable kick will uh, get the distance, and uh, so he should kick the distance, and obviously most of the Richmond players think so, Doug, because nobody, none of the smaller players have gone down to road to, uh, to any knock from the ruck, from the knock. The kick from Roach, the Richmond players obviously knew the value of uh, Roach on that occasion. Mm. It was out of hand, balls to Roach again, Roach will line up from about... 10 metres square, bang! Great goal by Roach, good play by Bartlett. Kevin Bartlett, look at the post there on your screen. Magnificent line, looking for Dunn, Emmett Dunn's in front. Over the back is Roach this time, he runs in, has a shot towards goal, I think he's kicked that! Yes! Oh, great goal by Roach, his fifth. Richmond's ninth, nine goals, eight. Towards their half-forward line, he's been a good player, Tepany. Up high is Roach and takes a good mark. Well, that's the sort of uh, mark that Richmond want. They want a goal out of this player now. Played an excellent first half with five goals. So Michael Roach from 40 metres out. Let you see. Certainly been a very good kick for goal today. Has kicked five goals too. The kick's going to get the distance all right. It's going, is it going to swing back? I think it has. Yes, a good goal by Michael Ray. It's picked up now by Tiffany who bursts through the centre. Tiffany puts a long kick down, and it's Roach once again. It'll be a 15-metre penalty. And a little bit Roach well within the uh, kicking zone. Roach has already kicked six. A little bit of bad luck from Melbourne, possibly. Yeah. That Kelvin Richards was forced to leave the field, and uh, that uh, left them uh, you know, short in defence here and uh, Delamata is a little bit undersized to compete with Michael Roach. Roach lining up for goal number seven. A kick from Roach. Goal umpire hardly moves and Roach brings... We'll play on quickly over there towards Roach. He's got Roach by himself too. Nobody looking after him and there's a mark for Roach. Michael Roach have already kicked seven goals. And uh, you're right, uh, Bob, as you said. Robertson yeah. kicking up toward the full forward zone. Edwards trying to force his way through. Roach! Did you see that mark? What a mark! Well done, Michael Roach. Great mark. And one day you'll kill yourself coming down like that. Well, Jack, there's no way in the world that any backman can stop those. <laughs> what a fantastic mark. He has hurt himself, Jack. Oh, he has to. And didn't knock himself out. He has kicked one goal, but uh, I think See, by his on his face, he's got a lot of mud on his face, so I feel he may have hit his head on the ground as he came down. Roach going for his second goal after that magnificent mark. Oh. What a mark. Can he cap it off, though? 
Michael Roach, 25 metres, dead in front of goal. A little bit hazy, but it's on its way. And the umpire said, a goal for Michael Roach, and well done indeed. Kevin Bartlett. Bartlett. Elects to go for the long kick. It's a long, high one. Roach and Moore. Roach was up high in the front. And a beautiful mark once again. Nowhere near as spectacular as the other, but a perfect mark by Michael Roach, who will have the opportunity of bringing up his third goal. Well, a man who can take marks like that in the four-forward position, Bob, must be a focal point for a team, mustn't he? Very much so, Jack, and uh, Roach against a very able opponent in Calvin Moore. Well, at this stage of the game, Moore's in front, really, on points. Well, what more do you want Roach to do? Because it's his third goal. Two minutes gone to this, to this second quarter, Polgas looks for the lead over there by Roach. Roach is up high, a beautiful mark by Roach, beautiful mark. Is he turning on a game here at Fairfield Park today? This is his third mark, third good mark, his fourth shot for goal, he's already kicked two goals, one. And again, distance isn't the problem, he's about 25 metres out from goal, very slight angle. A very, very improved player for Richmond this year. His kick on its way, the umpire doesn't move. And the third goal for Michael Roach, fourth to Richmond. They take some other four goals. Put a heck of a lot into his game today. He'll go for the long drop cut down towards the square. Players set themselves. Oh, he's taken that one, yes. A beautiful mark. Magnificent mark to there to Michael Roach. Over the top of a couple of big North Melbourne players there. And done from the boundary throwing. But this time he's picked it out and done He'd be about uh, 65 to 70 metres from goal. I doubt whether he could make the distance, but he'll put it in the square for the long drop punt. Players set this. Oh, looks like it could be Michael Roach again with a brilliant mark. What a great player he's been today, Michael Roach. He's already kicked four goals, and he should make no mistake about this one. That was almost uncontested, that mark, but uh, it was still a real big mark. Well, he was at the back of the pack along with about three North Melbourne players. He made up his mind he was going to get it and certainly made no mistake. He had his name written all over it, Doug. Michael Rudge there on his screen, about 20 metres out from goal directly in some foot on his boot. What's he done? He's put it... Part of Henshaw that time nicely beats another one too and he's away and he boots it over the centre half forward position looking for Roach he's got the mark a beautiful mark I think Sutton will find he can't play him from behind Louis no way in the world because he's a beautiful uh, build of a fellow he's about six foot four and a half and uh, the most important feature about his play he can jump as well as being tall so the ball in the the hands of Roach only about uh, 25 to 30 metres out on a very slight angle and a chance for the first score of the match to come on the ball. There it goes, Roach coming in. Fires. That's a very good kick indeed, a goal. So Richmond off to a good start at the two and a half minute mark. Richmond uh, one accepted by Williams, showing plenty of strength. Boots it well over the half forward line. Roach at the back position. Can he? Oh. He's got it. Right. A bit of bad luck that time for Darrell Simmelbush. He's giving away inches, but uh, it was outmanoeuvred. Now Sutton. he's got a chance for his uh, uh, Sutton, I should say. He's got a chance for his third goal. He's dead in front, only about 20 metres out from goal. Very big fellow, about, as I said before, about six foot four and a half, only about 18 years of age. He's got a great future as a full forward in league football. Coming in, we'll make it a point the difference if he's accurate enough. He's put it right through the middle, so it's only a point the difference now. The Tigers still hanging on at the 11 and a half minutes and a half back on Dunn. Well, he's only had three kicks, Roach, but he's got three goals. Now he's got four. That's another one. Oh, Michael Roach, very happy about that. The ball tapped down and he's been certainly to within the 10 metre square. That's with a good kick. It is that. 
into the 10 metre square. Roach is there, the high. He's got it! Ethan not too happy. Ethan actually flew a little bit higher than Roach, but too early. And Roach, showing great judgment, has a chance for goal number five. And that's not too bad, is it? 20 minutes into the second quarter. And the goal here would make Richmond look pretty good. They already lead by five points, 56 to 51. From 11 metres out, Michael Roach fires and puts through goal number five. Richmond lead by 11 points. This is usually a good kick, but he's gone for a pass this time. Looking down there for Roach, and he's got 